All right, time for summit. All I know about this map is that it's kind of like 71D. Uh, and there's like one room for each, uh, like 500 meters basically, except there's like flags for 3K. And then that, there is a C pop berry, which is gonna be interesting, but I'm pretty sure it has like good setups and it's not that sub pixel dependent, so yeah. I'm excited for this, and then after this, we can do Nalumbo, which I'm excited for, and this will give me my first Cratchium. Damn. Yikes. That's kind of rude. Oh, do I have to? Okay. All right, and then this is where the map actually starts. Okay, nice. That room was pretty free. And I did realize, Oh, I did not know there were cutscenes. Damn, Madeline being a bitch. Uh, so I forgot to mention, I have seen a good amount of this map from watching some of Parrot's streams when they were doing s this silver, but no, it doesn't really, like I haven't seen anything of 3K and that was probably the most helpful room right there with that, so. Yeah. Okay, that room was also way easier than it looked. All right. Such a dumbass death. Two attempts in a row. Wow, okay. I think I died at that last section five times, which I was estimating like five to ten. Uh, yeah, so far the sections have been getting harder as we go along. I hope that's not the case for this, or maybe I'm fine with it and the cycles just aren't bad, but I'm glad it's not global cycles, because it's the same every attempt, luckily. I died after the hard ass platform part like 15 times. I died at like every single spot, and the part after it is free. That's like the same difficulty as like 500, but if you make the platform part in the middle the same difficulty as the rest of the room, it's probably easier than zero meters. That was annoying how stupid I was at the end. Nice. That's definitely the easiest room besides zero meters. Oh, I wonder if that could have killed me there. All right, berry room time. Why did, okay. This is the third time I've accidentally done a downright, but I actually survived this time. Thank you. Okay, fourth time getting to the feather. That should not have taken me that long. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad, but 
uh, I died way too much to the bounce off the snowball on the move block and uh, the down dash and the spring. Isn't there like something over here? Yes, there is. And by the way, if you're curious why since I entered the barrier room, uh, like in between the barrier room and the start of that completion attempt, why my file time has gone forward 45 minutes more than my chapter time, it's because in between that, I rebeat Shatter Song like without berries, just so I could get it in the journal like fastest time completed and fastest or like least deaths. So yeah, that's why that went more than it should have. Okay, nice. Only died at that last jump once. Almost there. Yep, I knew this existed and I knew Sea Pop Berry's, like, yeah, Sea Pop Berry entrance is right there. Hmm. I'm not looking forward to that room because those first few seconds were very annoying. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm interested at how this room's gonna go. the thing I kind of want to rebeat it so I can reveal the thing above the key because that also took me like four or five minutes from going from the start yeah that that room took me so much longer than it should have mainly because I was just learning like the setups for the sea pops but yeah those sea pops are not bad that's a really cool room Jesus Christ that took way too long or well being at the end Ooh, it's the boy. I don't think there's anything else up here. Yeah, no. Demo. <laughs> I literally just went to a random pixel. That's so funny. Wow. Well, a cool room. That's actually a really fun room. I'm not looking forward to this, though. Wait, is my checkpoint going to be there or no? Aw, oh, you suck. Nice. Oh, wait, I actually... Okay, come on. I am actually so smart. Can I not be a dumbass this time? Where did my dash input go? Oh no, I hit the num lock key during that. So I couldn't like dash grab or demo. Oh my God. Oh, I normally wouldn't be that mad, but I'm getting so unlucky with this room. Jesus. Oh, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god, oh my... Oh 
You fuck, you fuck. Oh my god. Can you please not die? So fucking unlucky there. That section's not harder than 1000, but it's definitely the section second hardest room. I got so fucking unlucky. Jesus. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. That flag wasn't too bad. Now, updraft. Yay. So the first attempt after I practiced, like I went and re-practiced like the upright after the spring block, I did it and I failed it five times before. That was a bit annoying, but not that bad. I understand why that's a choke point for the silver. And I'm pretty sure this is like basically the last flag because flag one is just like 7A flag one, but spikes everywhere, so it shouldn't take too long. There's a checkpoint here. I know this that part. Is there like no? Oh, that's a kill. Why did that kill you? Oh, nice. Sick. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a bit hard because the heart's hard to do. Okay, there we go. Oh, I feel like that's barely harder than Shatter Song for full clear. If you're not full clearing, though, this is definitely harder than Chatter Song. So yeah, I think this is my new hardest map in Celeste. I guess I didn't say anything about Flag 2 since I first tried Flag 1 after. I really dislike the climb jump over uh, the block and then fast falling and being able to hit the spring in time. That was so annoying. And I don't want to talk about how I died three times to the climb jumps at the end. So yeah, just the crack GMs left. I'm doing Nalumbo, the then Ivory, then Solar, then Pumber, because that's the difficulty order. Some people say Ivory's easier than Nalumbo, though. I'm really excited for all of them, except I haven't heard much about Ivory, and I've seen short clips, and I'm not sure if I'm going to like the gameplay or not. So, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, I'm really excited for all of the maps besides that, and who knows, I may love Ivory. <laughs>